America's Card Room and the Winning Poker Network admit cheating has been taking place on their site and began issuing refunds back to the players allegedly impacted. Let me repeat that. After we made multiple videos about the cheating taking place on the Winning Poker Network, they have now began issuing refunds, banning bot accounts, fixing the tournament loophole, and giving back money to the players that were allegedly impacted. It only took Winning Poker Network and CEO Phil Nagy nearly 1 million hands of these bot accounts operating at the micro stakes pot in Omaha before they finally decided we got to shut these guys down. It took me making a video about the issue and them saying, you know what? We better look into these accounts. And then they, wait, what's that? There's an account back with the same registration date, February 24, 2018 from Russia playing four tables with the same style that these bot account, well, I guess they didn't fix the issue, huh? So we know that Phil knows just about everything going on on, wait, what's this? The founder of the company that licensed and created the software the Winning Poker Network operated on, IG Soft, named Vinko Dobrosovic, he also founded and created the shady poker skin that operates on the Winning Poker Network called Poker King, where a lot of the bot accounts that sit and goes, the bot accounts that cash games, and some of these out of line activities have been taking place. That can't be true, can it? Wait, one of the skins called Poker For You has been allowing players to register more than one account through a middleman agent? And Phil recently just found out about this? He's, no, come on. He had to know that was going on. He just found out about this? So wait, he, it, well, he's gotta know what the founder and the creator and the maintainer of the software's doing on his shady site, right? Well, he know, well, I, I guess, I don't know. So wait, he didn't know about the, the bot accounts till I made a video about it? He didn't know about uh, one of their skins allowing you to register more than one account until recently? He didn't know about the tournament loophole that existed for years until I made a video about it? Well, what, I, I don't know, what, I have to make a video on everything? He couldn't ban and get rid of the people that were playing on more than one account on the site because, nah, different IPs. Yeah, no shit, guys. To play on more than one account at the same time on the site, you need to use different IPs for the accounts. Yes, that's how it works. But yeah, hands are tied. You're gonna let the accounts play. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now, guys, enough of the sarcasm. Uh, enough of the jokes here. There has actually been action took in place. A positive step from America's Card Room, they fixed and acknowledged that tournament glitch loophole that players were banned for exploiting. They fixed that, allegedly, for now, and they have also began issuing refunds to players for they uncovered, they uncovered unfair gameplay practices carried out by a player on the Winning Poker Network that breached our terms and conditions. So they didn't talk about exactly what took place. I, I've heard refunds have come from players that played small stakes, micro stakes, Nolan and Hold'em, and also small stakes to mid stakes, Pot Limit Omaha on the site. I've got emails and messages from over 10 players now. We don't know how many players actually got money back for this, but a positive step has been took in place. And like we said, with those three accounts that were playing at the micro stakes, Pot Limit Omaha, the most obvious bot accounts, Silly Geek, Glory, and Rum Warrior, they have been eliminated from the site. Finally, after playing near 1 million hands with the highest win rates at the stakes, who played 24 hours a day, seven days a week in rotation, those guys are gone from the site. Luckily, a friend of theirs has popped up just in time to make an account and, and begin again the process. And now we haven't heard much from WPN CEO Phil Nagy, except for one interview he gave to a site called US Poker, where he talked a little bit about the unfounded accusations that I've been making. And now when it comes to the accusations that I put out there on video, I don't know how many exactly are unfounded right now because we talked about the tournaments, the tournament loophole, that's been confirmed. Players banned for that, that fixed. We talked about bots on the site. Well, at least a couple of the bots that we know of have been banned. The most obvious bounce, bots have been banned. Finally, after I made a video, okay, that's been confirmed. It's been, I don't know what more confirmation you need than a player playing side by side that there's some collusion taking place on the site. So to say that's unfounded, I, I, I don't know how you can possibly say that. And when it comes to the potential super using account, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. 
Do you trust Phil Nagy and the Winning Poker Network to truly investigate deep into this issue when they are completely oblivious to one million hands of gameplay by the most obvious bots of all time who were then acknowledged to be that and banned only after I put out a video talking about it? Do you trust Phil Nagy and the Winning Poker Network to properly identify super using that might be taking place when they have no idea that a tournament glitch loophole has existed for years on the site. Do you trust Phil Nagy and the Winning Poker Network security when one of their skins is allowing accounts to register more than one account on the site? Players can have three accounts, four accounts, and he doesn't find out until recently. Can you really trust Phil Nagy and the Winning Poker Network security team when the creator and the operator of the software, Vinko Dobrosovic and his team, they also founded where they operate the shady poker skin that a lot of these out of line accounts have came from called Poker King, where on the site there is a letter from Vinko talking about how he created Poker King as the culmination of his entire career in gaming. This is a an enterprise that he has created because he is not a fan of professional poker players. He does not want to cater to professional high-end poker players. His campaign is catering to the recreational poker players. Now, this is clearly a man that has not logged on to the Winning Poker Network almost ever because their system actually caters to people that grind and grind and grind with the reward system set up. The very much opposite of the person who created, maintains the software and created and maintains the shady poker skin, Poker King, Vinko. This man obviously does not know what he's talking about when it comes to the site. So this is the man that, that we're supposed to know that Phil Nagy is accurately and keeping up with exactly what him and his team are possibly doing on the software and on the skin. Now, do you believe that Phil Nagy and the Winning Poker Network security team currently comprised as is, is ever, ever going to be capable of detecting any level of high-end super using, high-end collusion, or high-end bot play at the higher stakes? I think to me, the obvious answer is there is not a fucking chance that they will ever be able to detect anything like this. And now some people say, oh, it's just micro stakes. All right, you know, we're fighting for micro stakes or why does it even matter? It's just micro stakes. Well, this just paints a picture, a very large picture at this point of the incompetency that is happening and the non-existent security taking place on the Winning Poker Network because these are the most obvious bots that stick out to us. I don't know if these bot creators are just naive or if they're just like, well, they don't, they're laughing. I don't know exactly what's going on, but they're making it super, super obvious. Now, you got to imagine as you move up the stakes, some of these guys are gonna be a lot better at hiding and, and changing their patterns around to not be detected and made a video about from me. So if they can't catch the obvious ones, if they can't catch the obvious tournament loophole that's been, taken, that's been open for years, if they can't catch the poker skin that's allowing more than one account to take place on the site, if they can't shut down people who have been shown a photo of them playing side by side on more than one account, if they aren't gonna shut down those accounts, and if they aren't able to detect collusion happening at the high stakes Potlum Omaha and the high stakes tournaments by a man playing more than one account, if they aren't able to detect these things, how are they ever going to detect any super using going on, any manipulation of the terrible Mac client software? How? I just don't believe it's possible. So now you have to remember, if you're gonna continue playing on America's Card Room, the Winning Poker Network, or any of their other skins, you have to acknowledge the fact that there are players who are gonna be playing on one to two to three to even more accounts against you at cash games and at tournaments at any given time. You might be able to beat those for right now, but that problem's only gonna get worse and worse and worse as people realize just how incompetent and non-existent the security on this site is. So you have to say, 
am I a complete fucking idiot degenerate if I continue playing cash games and tournaments on this site? And now maybe that answer is no. You don't think you are. You're able to still win. You might think a big score or whatever, but just realize that these guys are not gonna do anything unless I make a video about it. And I'm not gonna be around here to make videos about everything that's taken place. When you send in your emails and send in your supports, Phil Nagy in his uh, interview talks about calling them up. Yeah, right. Go fucking call them up. Who are you going to talk to? Jill from India? She doesn't know what the fuck's going on. These people don't have any idea. They're going to be, I've seen what they say to people in chat. These guys are rude. These guys are assholes. These guys are mean. They don't give a fuck what you got to say. Even me, I messaged Phil. He's busy on the goddamn mountain for seven days to be bothered with that. Gets back, to, ah, yeah, what you got, bro? And then I don't respond back because I'm like, what's this guy's problem? And then he can't be bothered until I put the video out there. Hey, maybe the CEO should follow up with one of the high-end players on their site, making some accusations about widespread cheating. Maybe that'd be what a good CEO does, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe a good CEO, when videos come out, they wouldn't say these are completely unfound accusations, 100% false right away when the video comes out. Well, how do you know that? That's not true. You confirm many things yourself. You're giving refunds back to players. So now these are the people that you're entrusting your play and your money to when you play on America's Card Room and the Winning Poker Network. You have to remember that. And while there might not be other options out there that are good and maybe just as risky, we know exactly what this site is made of. We know what this site is compiled of. We don't know who really runs the site. Is it Binko? Is it Mr. Cater to the Recreational Poker Players? Is it IG Soft? Is it Phil Nagy? Is it the Winning Poker Network? Is it the fucking guy who's letting four people, a guy make four accounts on the site? Who knows? We don't know. Are these licensed? Are these regulated sites? Do they need to even provide security? We don't know. There's no idea. So just remember where you're playing at, guys. And we're gonna keep updating on this. I gotta thank everybody out there for supporting the videos, for helping to draw awareness at this issue on all the social media platforms. I got to thank 2 plus 2, Mason Malmuth and Matt Skalansky. I sat down with them. We had a meeting. I went over the issues. They're one of the biggest advertisers for the Winning Poker Network. And I know it was a hit for them from a financial standpoint to pull the advertising from the Winning Poker Network. But once again, they showed the Winning Poker Network and Phil Nagy that they could not be bothered to even respond to an email and a message from someone who is a member of the community looking out for the players like Mason Malmuth. Mason Malmuth took the time out from his day to compile a very nice draft email that I got to see. He took hours out of his day to try to figure out what exactly is going on. He took hours out of his day to then talk this over with his team, send this over to the Winning Poker Network, one of the sites, the biggest sites that advertises for them, and they couldn't fucking be bothered. They could not be care less to even respond to Mason. The complete disrespect that this team and these people are showing players and others in the community who draw ish awareness to the issues taking place is just baffling to me, guys. And now these are the people you're entrusting your money, fair play, and security to. You have to remember that, guys. You have to remember that. So that's what I got. I'll be back with some more videos on this, investigating deeper ties to who exactly runs this site, who's in charge of the site, what's happening on the site. So keep sending me messages. Keep letting me know what you guys think. Much love, everybody. Take care and adios.